everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. And today is Monday the 8th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day outside. For the most part, the wind cut back. We've had a couple crazy windy days. Um, it was a little windy day, but not too bad like it had been. Got up this morning, um, stupid early with the puppy um, coming. Not used to that at all. I've been sleeping a little bit, so they had the dog here with me since Thursday. And I uh, didn't have to get up Friday, Saturday, Sunday early like I did. But I was getting up early, just not this early. So, and went ahead, um, got up with him, got him, kept him quiet, best I could, whatever, whatnot. Um, brought him back to the bedroom, kept him quiet, got around, did a couple things to take care of, went and jumped in the hot tub. Um, I cranked the hot tub up it's been chilly. So I've got it cranked up like 103, I think it is right now. Normally it's like 101. So definitely feels nice. And then as I turn on the bubblers, which is the air, that's all it is. As it bubbles, it's not really jets, it's an air um, tub, I guess you want to call it. The cold air blown in cools the water off pretty quickly. So definitely drops down to about 100 by the time I get out, maybe 99. And I get up out of there. Um, got a couple things done around the house, nothing real major. Uh, hung out with the dogs outside the best I could. Um, was again a little chilly put on some pants and that's what i wear down here in florida too much but i had on some pants and whatnot uh, got a few things to take care of had to go feed the cats and walk the dog out the golf course so i went and did that on the motorcycle and it was not cold but it wasn't warm by any means so took the bike over um, got that done um, everything was good to go there the, um, fed the ducks all that good stuff um, got back to the house uh, was able to um, chill a little bit hung out with the dogs for a little while got on the computer um, updated my phone which takes way too long i've got to order a mac i just i've been asking people if i need to buy the bigger one or the smaller one or save the money and whatnot whatever and kind of go from there so i'm gonna i'm gonna upgrade to the larger um, hard drive just because i think it's needed um, just and go from there i'll probably also buy an extended uh, external hard drive as well to be able to do a few more things on it but it is what it is so went ahead um headed back out later to go back and walk the uh, golf course dog again mostly because they were coming home this evening my wife didn't have to stay out there so decided i was going to just um, do that and not have to make her um, go back out to work so um the dog got the pup got picked up and literally as he was leaving i put my um, stuff in my jacket and i headed back on the motorcycle and it was a little chilly heading out not too bad the sun's still up no big deal yada yada got out there um went for a walk with the dog got a text from my wife saying she's heading home so sure my mom we're gonna have, I told them they were gonna fend for themselves for dinner because I didn't know what I was gonna eat because I was gonna be out there late. Who knows how long it'll take. So went ahead, uh, walked the dog, ended up bumping into a few of the neighbors and stuff. Cause I'm normally out there in the middle of the day, like the, the noon time, and I virtually see nobody out at all. So had some neighbors, um, just a few houses down that were out smoking a cigar, chatted with them for a little bit, talked to them for a while. Um, the wife came up with a dog and I was like, Teddy's not dog friendly. And they're like, yeah, we know Teddy. I'm like, who the hell? He kept trying to introduce their dog. And, so I kind of basically had to make Teddy set a heel and then uh, let him snip, snip it a little bit. And Teddy just hauled off and punched this dog right in the head, like like boxers do. Just punched that dog right in the head. And I'm like, I ah, didn't scare him. I'm like, no, but it just, it's not good for him because Teddy's going to punch your dog again. And your dog's really old. Like it doesn't, it's not, there's not enough benefit here for the chance of risk and stuff. So went ahead, we chatted a little bit. We talked about cigars and stuff quite a bit. Talked about a few other things. And then our neighbors came over, talked about getting a new roof on his house and so on and so forth. Hung out there a little while headed back over the house and uh, basically finished my cigar got a text said that they had landed and they were you know safe here at the airport okay you need to go people you can't just stop here come on god damn it but people out here driving are just crazy they see an on ramp coming on and they just slam on their brakes you can't slam on your brakes in the right lane to let them in there you have to let them get up to speed and then move on but yeah people are dumb as hell so what is wrong with you you cannot be oh of course you're texting your phone you dumb shit so yeah but and i say that as i'm making a video i understand that but I know what I'm doing. I'm super hyper aware of everything going on around me. I'm not in this process. I'm looking out at people, not looking at my camera. So it is what it is. But yeah, I went back to the house, hung out there, got a text from them saying they'd landed, so they were good to go. Um, also gotten a call earlier, text earlier, saying that the cats were back. The lady owns the cats have been back home, which I asked her to tell me. So that I didn't have to worry about, um, concerned about them anymore and whatnot. So that was good to go. Um, so I'm gonna stop by tomorrow and get paid. I also offered her my Vimo. And she basically has paid me through Venmo, which stops me having to go back over again, which is super handy and makes it a lot easier for me as well. So got that done. Um, got the dog one last walk in, make sure he potted real good. Um, went back in, took him inside, headed home and froze my butt off going home. Like it was, holy crap, it was so cold. I was driving along. I actually took a couple of the back roads to do the interstate down because I didn't want to be running 70 mile an hour at this 
temperatures. So I basically ran the back roads down. So I stayed closer to 45, you know, mile an hour instead, which just delayed my cold, but it wasn't out there quite as bad at 70. And I've realized I have to buy a bigger windshield for that bike. And I also need to get a trunk for it as well, because I need to be able to haul stuff on it. And I cannot do that. So overall, pretty good um, trip back in, no big deal. I also did take my um, clear glasses. I don't have a trunk or a bag on there to keep my clear glasses on. So going home at night, I had these sunglasses on my face to keep my eyes from getting bugs in them and also the cold air from making my eyes water so bad I couldn't see. And the bike headlights good enough. I could drive with the sunglasses on. So that's how good the headlights are on the bike. I'm really impressed with how good they are. This is my first time really being out on the bike in the pure darkness to actually know how well the headlights work and super happy with it. I was super proud of how good, that's just a crowd. Like I didn't throw them, I just bought the damn thing. But super happy with the lights and how good they are. So went ahead, got back home, um, decided just basically to chill a little bit. I was gonna jump in the hot tub, kind of warm my body back up, said to hell with it, and just got uh, basically um, changed out, decided to head to bed fairly early, went to bed, grabbed some chips and dip, which I'm eating my dip lifter from Iowa, I brought back from way back when, when I made a trip up, got my mother, chilled out there a little bit. Um, from there, uh, watched a little bit of Netflix or I think it was Hulu or hell it was we were watching together and wrapped it up and called it a night. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.